Hello, and welcome to the forum. Every week, we take no more than 15 minutes to discuss the three highest conviction ideas surfaced across the Smart Karma network, cutting through the noise and helping you zero in on what truly matters most. The live forum and Q&A session are exclusively available to Smart Karma Plus subscribers. You can always revisit previous episodes on this YouTube channel. Without further ado, let's dive into this week's ideas. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Smart Karma Weekly Forum. The forum is a high impact webinar that's exclusive for Smart Karma Plus subscribers. We discuss the best, highest conviction insights surfaced across the Smart Karma network. The forum is meant purely for informational purposes and does not constitute investment advice. It is the opinion not of Smart Karma, but that of our insight providers. And lastly, Chatham House Rule applies. Every week, we try and present three key ideas from the platform, typically a large cap, a small and mid cap, and a core thematic. At the end of the week, we upload video recordings of the forum on the Smart Karma Plus YouTube channel. This allows you to catch up on forums in case you've missed the live session. It also allows you to share recordings with your friends and get their insights and opinions on key ideas. This week, we will look at three names. All of them are tech names. The first one being Appier, which is a Taiwanese tech company listed in Japan. Next, we will look at Elastic, um, which is a search business listed in the US. And third, we will look at Tencent, some recent developments and why we continue to be bearish. Let's kick off with Appier. Appier is covered by Miyokato-san on Smart Karma. Miyokato is based in Japan. He covers technology, autos, and a few other sectors. Um, he's been very, very bullish, the name, uh, going into the IPO, and even more so now that the share price has actually come to very attractive levels. As you can see, the market cap is under a billion dollars, so this is a small cap but it trades 5 million US dollars a day, making it fairly investable for a lot of people. A quick background, what does Appier do? It provides artificial intelligence SaaS services um, based on to data-driven decision makers across large corporates. This is quite a unique space. We have yet to come across many companies who do AI SaaS. Um, its revenue guidance continues to accelerate and the weaker yen is actually a driver. Secondly, they're starting to do really well in the US market. What is the catalyst? They're expected to break even in the first half and even be profitable in the second. I think upside surprises or R&D are very unlikely. The US market is displaying great momentum to them. They've, they've been able to accomplish a lot with just three sales guys there and they're starting to grow that sales team. Based on this, this is looking at only two times sales, which is extremely cheap for a fast growing tech name in a space such as AI SaaS. Sell side is cautious and conservative. Uh, we expect the stock could do really well once markets tend to stabilize. Moving on to Elastic, this is a $6.7 billion market cap tech name listed in the US. It trades over $100 million a day. It's very liquid and it's covered by Andre Zakharov on the Smart Karma platform. <clears throat> what does Elastic do? Elastic is essentially an enterprise search and cloud computing company. It allows corporates to uh, implement search and other types of data analytics. In fact, Smart Karma itself is a customer of Elastic. They reported stronger than expected revenues in the fourth quarter. In addition, they have massively increased their forward guidance um, and the management is confident that they will cross $2 billion in total revenue by FY25. This makes us really bullish on Elastic and, and this could be a multi-bagger from here. Finally, moving on to Tencent. This is of course one of the largest Chinese tech names listed in Hong Kong, market cap of over 400 billion. We remain quite bearish on Tencent. Most recently, one of their largest shareholders process has announced that it will continue to sell down its stake in Tencent to fund a buyback of its own shares. This is not great news for Tencent, which has already been beleaguered by tough regulatory stance in China. Meanwhile, Tencent's online ad revenue continues to decline as well. 
and the second and third quarter earnings could be under pressure. Lastly, we noticed that Tencent did not get approvals for new games in the recent quarters either. All of this is room to be bearish. This is still a very, very well-owned name. I know you will have a lot of questions and we recommend that you hop on to Smart Karma and use our discussions features to speak directly to our analysts. Thanks very much and speak to you more next week. That's it for this week. You can find more ideas like the ones we discussed today on demand on our YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification button. If you like these ideas, spread the word. Tell a fellow investor about Smart Karma Plus and follow us on social media. Just search for Smart Karma. And of course, don't forget to visit smartkarma.com for more independent, differentiated investment insights. Thanks for watching and see you next week.